Good afternoon, I'm Alicia Smith, and here are your headlines from 7 Action News. The University of Detroit Mercy has a new president coming. Dr. Donald Taylor has been named the university's 26th president. Taylor has nearly three decades of experience in higher education. Since 2014, he served as the president of Cabrini University in Pennsylvania. He's taking the place of Dr. Antoine Garibaldi, who wraps up his presidency at the end of June. Taylor's presidency will begin July 1st. Governor Gretchen Whitmer is making a trip to Sterling Heights to continue discussions on her plans to repeal the retirement tax. The governor has been traveling the state talking with retirees about how the plan will benefit them. The proposed repeal would save half a million Michigan households an average of $1,000 per year. She says now's the time to get that plan passed thanks to a surplus of $7 billion. Repealing the retirement tax was one of five proposals the governor outlined in her state of the state address. Well, hundreds of new electric charging stations will soon be available across the state thanks to an initiative by Consumers Energy. The Jackson-based utility company plans to add 200 new electric vehicle charging stations, including 100 fast chargers. It's all part of the utility's commitment to powering 1 million electric vehicles by the year 2030. The company has installed more than 1,500 electric vehicles chargers for homes, businesses, and along roads across the Lower Peninsula. Consumers Energy also plans to eliminate coal by 2025, eliminating energy waste and adding renewable energy sources. And for today, it's going to be mild and rainy, going with a high temp of 55 degrees. We'll have the winds picking up from the southwest as well. Our average high, 37. We will go back to the 30s tonight into your Wednesday morning.